Hi everyone, thanks for joining me in another one of my videos. Um, a few days ago I got a call from someone who knows of my furniture business and know that I uh, am just interested in trees in general if uh, they fall down or someone needs one taken down. And this particular person had a tree fall down after a big windstorm, so I came to take a look at it. Well, it turns out that it is a pretty large walnut tree. It's been dead for a while, so I'm not sure what it's going to look like on the inside. The outside's pretty rough, but that doesn't mean that the inside isn't nice and solid, so let's take a closer look. And here's the root ball. And if I was standing down in that hole all the way at the bottom, my head would only come up to about here to give you a reference. Let's go ahead and step down in there and show you exactly what I'm saying. So there's my foot. And there's my head. I can't see the screen, so I don't know. So I'm up to here. So keep that part in mind. I'm right there. Now you get an idea. With these boots on, I'm right around six feet tall. So uh, that gives you an idea of the uh, diameter of the root ball. But of course, that's not the tree itself. The tree itself, if we come over around in here, we're down in this person's backyard. And what it did is it uh, uprooted itself, fell over onto the fence and into the neighbor's yard. And they have told me that I can have whatever I want and I don't have to clean up or anything like this. This has nothing to do with them looking for a cheap way to get out, uh, get, get out of having to, you know, have this tree removed. Um, just being friendly and told me I can just take what I want and the rest they're just going to have someone come pick up. So that is the tree. I have not measured it yet. But again, let me get this screen turned around. I can see if I'm pointing at the wrong thing. There's my waist and there's the tree and it's maybe six inches or so off the ground. So we're, I don't know how much usable wood will be in that, but down at the very butt, it probably is four feet. And then about right here, it's probably reduced down to around three pretty quick because the bottom kind of flares out. It may be even more than four right down close to the root ball. Um, I stabbed my knife in some of these little deeper rotten spots the other day. It felt pretty solid. Um, nothing looks too crazy on here. We've got this big branch here, so you know, that may have caused some rot to get down in the tree, I'm not sure yet. But I'm going to knock some of that dirt away, and the first thing I'm going to do is saw that root ball off, let that fall down, and I'm going to see what the butt end of that log looks like. I'll be making my cuts with a steel 090, that is about a 137cc monster of a chainsaw. I've got my other steel laying in there just to show you the size difference. Um, this is a monster of a saw. You have to hold down the decompression button when you start it or it will break your hand, rip it off, rip your arm right out of the socket. It's extremely powerful, very high. It's got a lot of torque on this saw. I have it to use in a um, Laskin chainsaw mill. So I've got it out of the mill today with a regular bar on there to make this cut.
So as far as the really rotten spot, it goes about that far. It's only about two feet into the log. I think what I'm going to do is go further up the log and start cutting it into sections and see if it's rotten all the way through. But I'm guessing it's just mainly up into the, uh, uh, about two feet up into the log, maybe about a foot farther of softer wood. Then beyond that, it's probably solid. As far as the diameter goes, we are about 42 inches of usable wood in that direction and about 36 from here to here and about 30 from here to this uh, it's part where it kind of dips in. Um, below the rotten spot, got over 20 inches and then over in this area where you could take one big single slab, again we're at uh, 42 to 44. Um, but you know, the, this is the log flares out, so I'm not sure what it'll be further up. It's going to be less than that. But you know, you can work around stuff like that and get a lot of big nice slabs out of here or come to here. You know, you can mill this up a number of ways. Let's go have a look at what the other end of the log is looking like. Kind of possibilities. So starting here, coming down the log, we've got this uh, large knot where a branch came out here. We've got a branch coming out down there. You can see there's the walnut. If you notice when I was sawing all the uh, chips are green, that's what walnut looks like when you first cut it open. It's a really nasty yellowy green and then as it dries, uh, I guess it oxidizes and turns brown. Um, so we've got this branch coming out. Got to cut that down. And then right here, we've got a really big uh, crotch. So that's about four feet across. Again, it's hard to tell this kind of stuff. But you know, there's me. There's me standing, so you know it's, it's somewhere right around four feet. And then this branch coming off here is pretty sizable. That's probably over two feet in diameter, and that goes up to another crotch. So again, you know, different sections of this will be rotten to different levels, um, but it might not be all that bad. Let's check out the end of this branch here. Hey, you can see that's the uh, sapwood on the outside, and then you've got the actual, you know, familiar brown walnut heartwood on the inside. You see that sapwood again is pretty uh, pretty bad shape how it just broke like this but then on the inside everything's looking pretty solid um, so you're not going to get that full live edge uh, natural edge on the boards but you can get some really nice wide material out of this stuff and it, my guess is there'll probably be some areas in this that are pretty nice and figured wood especially up in some of these crotches That was close. That almost rolled over those logs down there, but take a look at that. This thing's rock solid in the middle. Kind of wish I would have cut up into it now, but I'll get some nice, uh, large, uh, thick pieces. Um, you know, some will be a full eight feet, others will be less, but I think it'll be good. There's just that small little um, section extending two feet up in there. Uh, and then this goes into these kind of gnarly areas where the branches were on there. I'm going to go ahead and guess that most of this is pretty solid. This wood's only soft uh, maybe inch, two inches in all around. Other than that, it's dead solid. So you can see uh, how it's brown on the outside, green in the middle, and that's because this is drying on the outside. Um, tomorrow when I come back, all this green would be uh, brown uh, as soon as that dries off just a little bit. So it's looking pretty good. I'm going to jam some stuff behind this without killing myself and um, make sure that's not going to roll down the hill and take that tree out. Just came around the back side of the log and that landed dead on where it needed to land so you can see it's got its widest part going from this corner to this corner so that's the way I wanted to mill it. Um, so I don't have to do anything weird like mill it at an angle or something. So I'm going to get the boards that go from here to here across there um, and then from here well that's probably not very usable. Um, so some of this stuff's going to be really wide, uh, or I could just, I don't know, work with this big area here somehow in a project. 
but all this right here that full length right under that rotten area all the way across I'll get some nice wide stuff from there um, you know and if I wanted to I could hook something up to this and try to rotate it but I can't get any kind of I can't even get my truck back here in the yard so I'm gonna have to have somebody help me carry these slabs out of this yard Before this battery dies, let's take a look at these monster logs. So there you go, that's a four plus foot crotch there. This log's about eight feet. This section, about eight feet. Same goes for that one, all of them around 100 inches. Um, this is more lumber than I'll ever need. But I'm gonna get it, uh, try to get it all milled up. This is the kind of thing I've been, been dying to find. Sorry if I'm out of breath sounding. It's because I am. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to subscribe and you'll get the notifications on future videos, including when I mill all this walnut into slabs. Also check out the description below. There's all kinds of links in there as well to other videos, my website, my t-shirt with the hand plane, woodworking plans, and my ebook. Thanks for watching.